Hey, welcome back to the Green Shack, everybody. It's July 6th. This is part two for videos today. We might do a third part. We'll see how this goes. Um, unfortunately, we got out here and took a look into Alpha Hive. And as you can see, kind of zoom in on this for me, bud. Um, our one queen cell has been chewed open. So for whatever reason, the, the bees decided this was not a viable queen and we lost her. So. I was, I was gonna do another video on this, but we're out here, so we might as well talk about it. Um, where we went wrong on Queen during this time, we just got too excited, we got ahead of ourselves. I should have taken these blue cups on this Queen rearing frame, and I should have brought them out here, back up. I should have brought them out here, Obviously, a number of these were just not viable. It was my first time grafting. Uh, I am fairly certain I put just a couple pieces of larva in some on accident. Um, but that's the learning curve. So hopefully next time works out better. We're gonna take this inside after this video and we're gonna replace all these blue cups. Then we're gonna bring it right back out and put it inside this frame or inside this uh, cloak hive that we have set up. And we're going to let the bees clean it up and take care of it for the next 24 hours or so, like I was saying. And then we'll take it out, and tomorrow, if everything looks good and they've had time to put stuff on it, we will graft again, and we'll see how it goes. So that was this, that was our failure there. Um, but like I was saying in part one, we have a job today. We've got to get some honey for our good friend LJ. So if you want to come over and take a look, We've got Bravo Hive open. And you can set the, the inner cover down if you like. Okay, thank you. Back up. So here we have Bravo Hive open. Uh, I was just saying this to the kids before we got over, just how calm they are again today. Uh, these are Saskatchewan bees again, uh, just as a, a notice. These are Minnesota Hygienic, uh, Charlie and Delta over there, if you want to pan over, buddy. Those, that's Charlie and Delta Hive. Those are Minnesota Hygienic uh, Varroa sensitive bees. And here we have Saskatraz, uh, Canadian bees. They're very, you know, winter hardy, supposed to be highly productive. So we thought we'd try them out being here in Minnesota with our, our winters. A lot of the things I read online said that Saskatraz bees were aggressive or kind of rowdy, um, and I haven't seen that at all. In fact, I've had the exact opposite. I'm not sure I've been stung yet, and I, I probably shouldn't say such things as a beekeeper. I'm not sure I've been stung yet out of a Saskatraz, a Saskatraz hive that wasn't my own fault. Uh, and by that I mean squeezing a bee or doing something stupid putting your hand where it shouldn't be um, but just taking all the regular precautions going nice and slow um, taking our time these bees are incredibly docile so for those of you out there looking for saskatraz bees and if if you've heard that they're aggressive uh, i'm not saying don't believe the hype but it's certainly not true all around the the spectrum there so but if you want to get closer we're going to pull this this uh, frame of honey out i got it loosened up a little bit on each side just enough to kind of wiggle it and i'm pulling out of the middle because i can just kind of tell by looking at it that it's fully drawn and there's going to be a decent amount of honey in there and our, our goal today is to try to take what's called comb honey which unlike just bottles of honey where we scrape all the honey out basically and put it in the bottles we're gonna take uh, kind of a flat, almost like a butter knife, like a, a rounded butter knife, and get it underneath the comb and kind of peel it out slowly and get it into a jar so that we've got basically just a little jar of comb honey. It's not typically how you do comb honey. It's not ideal. And you're always gonna run the risk of fermenting it if you don't worry about uh, moisture and stuff. But 
for what we're doing today for just a special treat uh, I think it's gonna work just fine so we're gonna get this frame of honey out we're gonna shake the bees off of it and we are gonna hightail it because we got a busy day of stuff to do I think this is where that J tool would come in real handy that we talked about with that, that hook Mm -hmm. That's another thing about these Saskatras bees, and I know I've said it on those other videos. They are propolis crazy. These guys stick anything and everything they can together, which is probably why they're so hardy in winter, because their insulation must just be incredible. This thing is not wanting to come out. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna try and go nice and slow. We're gonna try and go straight up. Let's not roll any bees. And rolling is exactly what it sounds like. It means pinching a couple bees in between two frames and rolling them and killing them, which is obviously not what we want. So, wow. Wow. I think what I'd like to say here is holy forking shirt balls. <laughs> holy moly, that's a lot of honey. Well, it's not even just the amount of honey, but look at that. It's beautiful. Just that capped white wax. Oh, man. Yeah. I want to just dig right in. Em, you want to stick your finger in there? <laughs> go ahead. Push. There you go. Oh, well, don't. Uh, yeah, kind of hard to eat honey when you got a mask on, huh? Yeah. Here, just get a little bit of an unzip on your face mask there. There you go, buddy. Turn. There. Operation get honey off of Emily's Yum. finger. Yum. Okay, well, that's at least one thumbs up. So we're going to go grab an empty frame that we have over there and we're gonna replace it in here. Holy crap, this frame is so heavy, it's trying to just slip out of my fingers. Um, we'll get that empty frame back in here. We will shake the bees back on top and close this hive up to let them do their thing. Um, oh, I forgot. From now on, I'm supposed to say- uh, Like and subscribe. You, you got it, that's it. I, I never thought it was that important. I've watched so many gaming videos, it stuck to my brain. Yeah, see, so I, I never, I never thought it was as important as apparently it is. So if you guys wouldn't mind, I would super appreciate it. Uh, I think everybody else here at the Green Shack would too. I would. Uh, I would. Mom would too. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Oh, just Turn on notifications oh, for God. every new video. Oh, that feels gross to say. All right. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later.